All right, guys, it is Saturday night again, and I am still recovering from having these two ginormous teeth ripped out of my skull. Let me just tell you, this has been some of the most pain that I have ever been through. The past couple weeks have just been absolutely exhausting. So I am so ready to just get a snack made and kick back tonight, settle in, relax, and watch a movie. Now, if you watched last week's episode, you know that I had my son do it because I was just in so much pain, I couldn't do it. You guys watched Zootopia, and he made, what, the carrots for one, a giant carrot cake, and he also made the big donut. It was pretty awesome. If you haven't seen that episode, go back and watch that one as well. I thought I would feel much better this week, so I told him I would just do it. Unfortunately, I'm still at the point where this really, really hurts, but I thought, you know what? I can do this. I can find something soft that's still delicious and a fun snack to make for our movie night. So I set out went out to Walmart and I found some awesome things, came up with an awesome idea. But before I show you what that is, I'm gonna tell you the movie for tonight is Ghoster. Now, I have never seen this movie. I believe I actually bought this at either Goodwill or the $1.25 tree, I can't remember. But I thought with Scream 6 being released just a few days ago, it would be awesome if we did another spooky movie night. And Scream is not really a family-friendly movie, so I thought about what I had in stock, and Ghoster is what I chose. Now, I did watch the trailer online, and it looks like it's basically like a remake of Casper, if you guys remember Casper the Friendly Ghost. A few years ago, it's probably actually been 10, 20 years ago now, maybe. Wow. There was a movie, uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost, and it was actually pretty good. It was pretty funny. Um, that's exactly what this reminded me of when I watched the trailer online. Now, usually I like to watch the movies first, so I can tell you firsthand that it is a family-friendly movie, but I watched the trailer, and this is definitely a family-friendly movie. It's rated PG. It's about a friendly ghost. So let's set this aside, and let's get down to it, guys. Come with me to Walmart. We're going to go shopping for a few things. Then we're going to come back here and make our awesome snack, kick back, and watch the movie. And as you've already probably noticed, I'm already wearing my Saturday Night Snack in the Movie t-shirt. While I'm healing with this, I'm not supposed to be exerting a lot of energy, so I'm not going to do the magical spin tonight, but you guys can imagine. Imagine it. <laughs> All right, Wally World it is. Let's go find what we need in here. I can't resist looking at things that are on clearance though. You always gotta check this stuff out just to see what the heck there is like this. Look at this, what is this? Red, white, and blue star-shaped marshmallows. Holy crap. I mean, that is pretty cool. When I find stuff like this that would be so cool to use um, in making some kind of a snack for a movie, like you could do The Last Starfighter, and make like chocolate covered star marshmallows or something. I like to look at the uh, the date on the back. June 14th, 23. I don't know. I, I wish you could save them longer than that. Look at this, we have all these sprinkles. We have white sprinkles, orange. Oh man, that'd be good for, for Halloween. Here's rainbow sprinkles. 227 on clearance. Red sprinkles, purple sprinkles. I gotta look at these. They look more like peach than orange. But look at that, 62 cents for that, holy crap. All right, what's the date on those? Uh, March 2025, it looks like. What is this one here? Diamonds sprinkle mix. Okay, oh, I see, it's shaped kind of like octagons or something. This is kind of cool, glittery sugar. Look at this, it's like silver and gold sugar sprinkles. Yeah, one part of me is like stock up on that stuff for future episodes because you never know what you're gonna want in making these snacks. 
but on the other hand, I gotta have somewhere to keep all that stuff, so. All right, back on track. Over here, what we're looking for is the bigger containers of chocolate pudding. Okay, right over here, Cozy Shack is the brand. And they have rice pudding and tapioca, but I don't see any chocolate in there. So they have plenty of the smaller ones here, the chocolate, almond milk, um, here's jello, but these are all pretty expensive. The snack packs are a lot cheaper if you're gonna go with the small ones. Uh, before we leave this area, there is one more thing that I wanna find. And that is the whipped cream that you spray out of a can. Okay, here it is right here. Um, we need like, I think there's some that's really thick. Here's extra creamy. I don't know if that means extra thick or not. <laughs> you know what, let's just go with the regular one. That doesn't even feel like it has anything in it. All right, just the regular one here. This is the cheap one, $3. 348, 246, 246. Now here's the trick with getting the cheap pudding at Walmart. They don't put it in the refrigerated section with everything else. All the expensive stuff is over there. The cheap stuff, the snack packs, are in the aisles with the chips and snacks. And look at this, remember how Jell-O was $4 for a four pack? $1.27, right here. And even better, down here, you have a bigger snack pack with bigger cups for $2.87. And even better than that, on the bottom you have 12 cups for $3.27. We're also gonna need some candy eyeballs. Now, if you've been watching this show for a while, you know that we've looked at these a million times, but just in case you're new to the show, I wanted you to know where to get them. You can get them here at Walmart or over at the Dollar Tree. All right, in the paper aisle here, we're also gonna need some of these clear cups. Now, there's a couple of different kinds. These are the kinds that I like, the Chinette Crystal. There's 50 in here, but they're six bucks. There's also Solo, two different kinds. These are also the small ones. They're almost seven bucks, and these are five bucks. That's a little pricey, so they also have the great value ones down here for 262, and they're a little taller. They're not as clear, but they're still good. They'll work for this. I bought this kind a while ago for five bucks and I only use them sparingly so they've lasted me. So the last thing we want to find is what we would usually use would be Oreos and we would crush and grind the actual uh, cookie pieces to make like dirt on top. But I'm trying to save a buck here. <laughs> Look this is $4.58 for a pack of Oreos. Even like the Oreo minis are $2.68. I know you can get a cup of those at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And I want this trip to be one and done today, so I ain't going to the Dollar Tree. So the alternative we're gonna use is graham crackers. Now here's the thing. Here's cinnamon graham crackers, regular graham crackers, and on the side of the box here, it shows where you can get chocolate. That would be perfect because we could just crumble that up. But I do not see any chocolate ones. And even if we did, once again, we're back up to 458 for a pack of these things. So, right up above is the Great Value Graham Crackers for $1.98. All right, we got everything we need in there. Let's hightail it out of here. Go home and make a snack or watch a movie. <laughs> All right, guys, we are home. Let's get started on this. This is so easy, we can make it right down here in the movie room. Let me go ahead and show you the things that I bought today. As I showed you in the store, we bought the honey graham crackers. Now, if they would have had the chocolate ones, I may have gone for those, but they were still like almost $3 more. So two bucks for the box of crackers, that's good to go. I also bought the big pack of snack packs, chocolate pudding. I got the original dairy whipped topping in the spray can. I told you at the store that I have these clear little cups I love these things. Even though they're kind of expensive, they're super convenient and they are perfect for snacks like this. We got a spoon, we got a bag, we got our eyes, and just in case this does not work, which I really hope it does, but you always have to have a backup plan. Now you guys could use regular marshmallows if this doesn't work, but I bought these back at Halloween time. 
Marshmallow Ghost Peeps. I knew I was going to want these sooner or later for a Saturday night snack and a movie snack, so I'm going to give them a try tonight, but only if this doesn't work. I like to keep these things easy with things that are easily accessible so you guys can do these snacks right along with me. Okay, so this is probably the most easy snack you're ever going to make aside from just going, hey, we're having pudding tonight. Pop and eat a pudding. <laughs> All right, so let's just take a couple of these. We have six of these, actually. And here's the thing. If you don't have the clear cups, you don't really even need them. You could just leave your pudding in here and use this. And you'll see why that is in just a minute. Okay, so we're gonna take one of these clear cups and we're gonna put pudding in it. That's about halfway. We're gonna put a little bit more in there, actually. And let's go ahead and prepare two of these. So each of these is taking about two of these big cups of pudding, just in case you need to measure it out for how many you're gonna be making. Smooth that out a little bit. And you know what, since we have two more pudding cups left, let's go ahead and make one more. Okay, so we got three going there. Okay, let's set these aside, because the next thing we need to do is get out some graham crackers, and that's where your Ziploc bag comes in. We need something to sprinkle on top so that it looks like dirt in the graveyard, and that's where the graham crackers come in. We're just gonna take a few and put them in the plastic bag, zip that closed so we don't spill any, and start crushing them up. Now graham crackers crush pretty easy, so you probably don't even need a rolling pin. You could even take the whipped cream container and just roll them out. Yeah, so it's almost like a fine dust. Okay, let's set that aside. Then we're gonna take another graham cracker because we wanna have a headstone in each of our cups. That's what makes using graham crackers so perfect. Break them in half and there you go. It's as simple as that. So we're gonna set these aside for a moment as well. Let's go ahead and get our eyes out here and get them prepared. I got a whole bag of these things because I use them so often for these snacks. Okay, now we're gonna use the whipped cream to make our ghosts on top of the pudding. We're gonna wait until we have the ghost on there before we sprinkle the crushed graham crackers because otherwise, this thing has air in it, and when you push it, it shoots out that air, and it might just shoot graham crackers everywhere if we put it on there first. So let's see how easily this works. All right, there we go, there's a ghost. Mmm, <laughs> tasty ghost. Okay, so we're gonna do exactly that on each of these pudding cups. Shake it up, point it down, and create a ghost on each of these falling over. Don't fall over, ghost. He's falling over. Uh-oh. Look at that. They want to fall over so bad. So you might have to even them out a little bit so that they don't fall over. All right, there's two. Okay, that worked a little bit better, but it still wants to fall over. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and get our eyes. I hope this works. That whipped cream seems like it's pretty soft. Now we're just going to give them eyes. One, two, one, two. Let's give the last one small eyes. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Yeah, they're falling over, their eyes are sliding. <laughs> All right, quickly, the headstones. We got one, two, three, and then we need to put in our dirt. I don't wanna make a huge mess here. All right, there's one. Two. And three. <laughs> Look at those things. Oh my gosh, this one's falling all over. All right, there you go, guys. Now I will say this, if you used marshmallows, it might be easier because they would not be falling over. Like, look at this guy, he's just dying. He's a dying ghost in the graveyard. This one has stood up pretty good. And this one is <laughs> just like a big blob. Oh my gosh, they're still pretty awesome though. Very easy snack to make, and if you're like me, you have a bad tooth or a reason you have to eat something soft, these are perfect. Let's take a little bite. I can't bite on the eyes, but let's take a little bite and taste it here. Mmm, mm-hmm. That is good. 
Sorry, Mr. Ghosty, for eating your head. Oh my gosh, look at those things. They look horribly delicious. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that is it. Our ghost in the graveyard is officially melting. <laughs> so I gotta get to watching this movie. But first, I thought maybe this time we would make next week a Disney movie. So I chose three for you guys to pick from. I love all three of these guys, so I don't even care, man. First is Cars. This movie is absolutely awesome, and Mater is hilarious. Next up is A Bug's Life. How can you not love A Bug's Life? And last but not least, The Incredibles Part 1. Part 2 is okay, but Part 1 is classic. So I'm going to put that poll up tonight for these three movies. You guys place your votes, and I will let you know which one we're going to watch next Saturday. As for now, I'm going to kick back and watch Ghoster and eat my melting ghost in a graveyard. <laughs>